No prepayment penalty. You pay it down whenever you want. No charge to pay down early. And there'll be a 5% late charge of more than 15 days late, which is standard. Okay. Any questions on your terms? The, the bank will only withdraw this amount of money every month. Correct. So what about the this, those like house insurance, HOA? You pay that all on your own. Uh, okay. You pay on your own. Oh One full year of insurance is paid now. You'll get your tax bill in October and you'll get your HOA bill. Let's see how that's billed. Oh, it's okay. 244 a year for that. So it's paid through um, June of next year. So it's a strange billing cycle to have that. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's through June of next year is when oh. it's paid through. Okay. So you'll get a bill probably April of next year to pay out for the next year. But 244 a year, not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Um, yeah. So the sailor will also pay part of it's the... It's prorated. Yeah, it's prorated through... Um, they've already paid it. Uh -huh. So it's prorated to today. To today. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. So you pay your portion from now forward and they've paid theirs. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, whenever you're ready, I'm going to have you initial the bottom of each page, one, two, and three, and assign here with today's date. There we go. Recorded of record with the county clerk, securing the mortgage of record. Let's make sure this mortgage amount's good there. Looks good. This is standardized verbiage for Texas all the way through. It's the no pay, no stay in a nutshell. So as long as you pay, you get to stay. <laughs> but whenever you're ready, we're going to want initials from both of you. I have two attachments to the deed of trust. The state you have a mandatory HOA. You must pay those dues separate from your mortgage payment. You'll get a separate bill. Same thing on this one with initials, initials, sign and date, initials. 3506C, if the lender needs to repool tax forms you provided, they're going to be limited to pull the years listed here. And they would do that in the event of an audit of the lender, not of you. All right. Make sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Jen, make sure your socials are correct, though. Mm -hmm. And if those are correct, I'll be signed on this top box. They've already dated it, so just need a signature. You each have your own. All right, lock in agreement. And then you should lock in your interest rate. You did not float your rate. You did lock it down. And if these are your terms, again, same thing from your note. And you'll probably see that again before we're done. Right there with the date. Commitment letter. An overview of your terms again. Here we go. Your loan amount. Your loan terms. Occupancy is the investment property. Within this, it gives you the terms in order to obtain the loan, things they require for the loan, but you would not be sitting here had you not met these requirements. They have to have your uh, signature to that fact anyway. Be right there with the date, and I believe on the second page with the date too, or the next one. And the document correction, if they need you to re-sign or correct anything on these pages that you would agree, for clerical items only, does not affect your rate or your terms, just clerical. All right, certificate of foreign status. So in here, we're going to confirm it's your social security numbers, and this is good here, social and your date of birth. And if those are good, then let's have you sign your own individual ones. Oops, there we go. No, wait, hang on. All right, verification of telephone numbers. Let's have you look at those here and check the appropriate one that you prefer. And to check here if it's accurate or if it requires correction. All right, here's your payment again, right here. First one's due October 1st. They have payment statement here, so if you don't get a statement in time, you can use that to send in a payment or do a bill pay. And I'll have these on top of your copies for you in case you need it, okay? Right here, I'm gonna have you both initials, because you're each borrower intends to apply for your joint credit, your initials, so there's two of you. It's a privacy policy for your lender's attorney information they collect from you, what they can and cannot share about you. Minerals, if you find minerals, you're supposed to let the lender know that you found them. Doesn't mean that you own them or they own them, no. but they wanna hear about it should you find anything. Mm -hmm. Diamonds, gold, oil, natural gas. If you find any, they wanna hear. Make sure the attorney letters, your lender's attorneys and your public titles attorneys. All three state document prep only, no representation for you or the seller. 
our privacy policy that we don't send you junk mail, we don't sell your information. Post closing, I know this is not your mailing address, so let's get your, your correct mailing address on there. Just strike that, this is just for us. Make sure the phone number and email address is good. Share information with Young Sue. She needs to sign closing disclosure once we're done. Just need your approval to provide it to her. Tax probation, we're prorating the taxes on last year's bill. This year's bill is not gonna be out in final till October for tax billing. So that was last year's bill. This is your credit from the seller, January 1st to now, which is all part of your numbers today. All right. So that one initial right where they did. Your initial all four down and then sign. Breaking down the title charges here between you and the seller and who's getting a piece of the real estate commission paid by the seller. Just have to disclose it to you. Okay. Right. This is for auto draft. Looks like they have the set for an auto draft payment. Is that correct? Is that what you wanted to do? Yes. Okay, let's verify this is good with the routing number and bank number. That looks good, I hope. And this will be the payment in the beginning. First payment will be requested um, on the 5th of October is when they're gonna draft it for you. Does that look good? Okay, well, if it looks good, we'll have you sign here with a date. We'll just have you sign side by side. Okay, and this is your home warranty information, paid for by the seller. It's good for the first year. You've got the ultimate plan. I think there was some funds due, a $32 uh, uh -huh. to older public. 